Hey everybody, um, this is my video for the summer internship. Um, I worked for the Eight Point Kennel GmbH, um, which is a family business for over 60 years now. Um, it has around 50 employees and it's selling distilled water and um, chemical liquids, mainly for the car industry. Um, the roles and duties during the internship was that I was responsible for the daily business and I was also providing like content for the web page and the social media page, like taking pictures or working with like a cameraman to take pictures or videos. Um, the established goals for the internship were that I was supposed to understand like the new system the company has, um, but I was also looking into different positions um for like the future if i want to work in the company that i know like which positions would um fit the best for me um yeah um the chief goals i had during this internship was that i was able to work um a lot with the system mainly in like the daily business for like um getting offers or like um sending the bills i used a lot the system to have like to put all the information in. So I learned a lot how it works, but I was also able to work like in the different locations in the company. So I saw like um the different positions, like how they, um like which different um, roles they have or duties they have. And also what, um, what's the difference between the locations are. Um, what I learned during the um, internship was mainly um, working on my own, as I said, like, for example, for the social media and the web page um, content, I um, that was like my project it was just me working on it. And I had to um, like to find like a cameraman and find like the perfect um, the perfect timing, um, perfect day and also um, which locations to use for it, which like machines to film and all this. So I think um, that helped me a lot, but also like the communication skills um, in the company um, improved for me. So um, yeah, mainly just because um, the positions are not fixed, like everybody kind of helps out in another position. So um, like, and you need a lot of communication through this. So I think, um, those improved a lot. Um, the biggest takeaways I took was uh, mainly that mistakes can happen, but also be always ready to react on those mistakes. And this means like, for example, if something happens and you're fixing it or you're trying to fix it, that doesn't mean after um, everything is gonna work perfectly, there can still be something going wrong and you just be or should be ready to to react to those problems. Um, like personal growth and an advice for myself would be like be responsible, especially if you have like those projects where you just work on your own. Um, it's just you. Um, so if mistakes happen or anything, it's like basically your fault. So just be responsible and try your best. And an advice for myself is don't leave everything to the end. Um, I kind of like the pressure that I need to finish it now. So I often leave a lot of work to the end and then it's kind of overwhelming. Um, I would say I should try, I should try more to like do the work or do like small parts in the beginning whenever I get it. And then it won't be as stressful in the end. Um, an advice for sport management students would be that um, you can use the chances Dr. B gives you. Um, it's a great opportunity to connect to other people. Um, like in the sport management program, we have so many like um, chances to work somewhere where you can connect and um, like find people who are working in the sport industry, especially like in the St. Louis, Missouri area. So it can help you a lot to get like an internship or in the future, like a job. And also be responsible with the homework. Um, yeah, it's like, um, as I said before, it's just like good if you, do like part by part and don't leave it till the end and um yeah
Um, an advice for the sport management program could be that instead of the peer reviews we have, um, to maybe have like a class, a class work where, um, for example, if we have a podcast to listen to instead of, um, listening to the other videos and reply to them, maybe like talking class about the podcast, like in a small, um, group in a breakout session, and then like talk to your, to your group mates about the podcast, um, think that's a better way to connect to your to your um, classmates. Um, a conclusion for um, the internship would be that I realized that I want to work in this company in the future. It's just like the family business and I really would like to work in it, but also I would change a few sections in the company, especially like how communication, communication work and how informations are gonna get like um yeah passed to the to the next people. I think there's uh, room for improvement. But yeah, I really enjoyed the time there and I, I like to work there. Thank you very much.